Yeah, let me set this up for you. We are going to be shooting the XDS in 9mm. This is my son behind me. And to set the backstory for you, he just got the recall. Most people know about that. I got it back. I want to test the trigger pull because it's different. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to verify zero with the pistol first, probably up close, and then we'll start moving back and I'll give you a report of uh, how the trigger feels before and uh, after the fix. Up really close here, guys. Five yards. Again, I'm just verifying zero on this as I just got it back. Now what I'm doing here is also getting a good feel for the trigger, as it's a new trigger, with some live ammo. Okay, after a first mag through there, I'll be honest, I'm not nearly as disappointed as I thought I would be. Now after that I moved back to 7 yards and continued the same slow fire drill so the trigger and I could continue to be introduced to one another. Also through this process I'm working on my newly adjusted stance and grip than what I'm normally used to. And I'll tell you, old habits are hard to break. Okay, not bad. I'm, I'm telling you what, I don't mind that trigger near as much as I thought I was going to. So I'm going to shoot the target from back here. Again, this will really put into place the fundamentals of shooting and trigger pulling, just how I like it. So we're going to hit that still target right down there. Right there, and I'll just be standing right behind the camera, get it oriented here. I'm not sure how far away this is, uh, 25 yards maybe, 30 yards, I don't know, somewhere around there. Ah, missed that last one. Not bad, guys. I'm happy with it. Continued on with the modified drill of the El Presidente, known as the Vice Presidente, on 8-inch plates from 7 yards. What this is, it's like I mentioned, you're shooting from seven yards and you're shooting at three targets. These three targets are spaced roughly about a yard apart, three yards apart, it kind of depends on how you want to set it up. And you shoot two shots on each target, reload, and then shoot two shots on each target again. Now what I find with this little XDS is because of the longer trigger pull and of course it being a subcompact I find that I really have to bear down on the shooting fundamentals to make good hits. Not bad, not bad, but I can do better. Let's do that again. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the two things that I'm really focusing on right now are my grip and stance as I've changed those recently. Here's the follow-up on that XDS trigger after the replacement of the parts, and I like it. I actually like it quite a bit. I don't like it as much as I did when I first got the gun, however, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like that trigger pull. Still a good one. Okay guys, there's a quick assessment of the new XDS trigger. 
I'm happy that I'm pleasantly surprised.